This video is for all you trailblazers, vision makers, change makers, soulful innovators who aren't doing, who aren't following their passion because you're worried about jumping from one hamster wheel to another hamster wheel. The hamster wheel of being employed, of being at the beck and call of your employer versus the hamster wheel of being self-employed and thinking that you're going to have to work 80 hours a week just to put food on the table. As somebody who worked in the United Nations system for more than 25 years, I now specialise in empowering female leaders in the not-for-profit sector to take that next step to help them leave that legacy, create that legacy, to build your brand, to show you how to package your expertise into services so that you can create wealth from a place of integrity, so that you create the time freedom so that you no longer are on that hamster wheel. You're the boss. Now, what is the problem? What, what is holding people back? Well, first and foremost, it's fear. That's, I'm going to say that's all it is. It is fear. It is fear of the unknown. I don't know, am I going to succeed? Can I actually do it? Will people want to pay me? But a lot of the new research tells us that that type of thinking is fear based on what has happened in the past. You've got to stay employed. You have to have a good job. Your parents may have told you. Um, in this environment, you're lucky to have a job. Why would you go off and do your own thing? There is a huge amount of fear, but like I said, it's fear based on the past. And new research tells us that if we want to move forward, we have to have a future vision that we put our emotion into, that we start thinking, that we start talking about to actually get there. So it is fear plays a very, very big part. Now, why is that a problem? You might say, yeah, but it is safe for me to actually stay where I am uh, in the current climate. It's a problem because if you're already thinking, if that little flame of um, intensity uh, for, for following your passion, for leaving a legacy, for really having an impact in the lives of others, if, if that little flame is already burning bright inside of you, you are not going to be able to put it out. And the more time that goes by and you don't actually listen to what you are telling yourself, the more damage you are going to do to yourself. Potentially, you're going to end up resenting yourself. Imagine in six months, a year, five years, you never took that step. How is that actually going to feel? You're not going to feel great. And what's worse is that potentially because you will start to blame others around you. Well, you told me I shouldn't do it. You told me I should keep my job. You told me we had to keep on paying the bills and that I shouldn't risk everything. Your relationships begin to suffer as well. So I want you to consider a few things. Firstly, from a practical and then from a personal mindset perspective. There are three questions you can ask yourself on a very practical level, the three S's. Now, these days, many organizations and businesses are looking for ways to save money. So the first S is sabbatical. Is there an opportunity for you to take off six months, even a year, either on a minimum wage or on a zero wage if you're able to do it? with the guarantee that you can go back to your job or a job so that you can just test the waters so that you can start seeing what opportunities they are there are so that you build the confidence and the trust in yourself to start building your business and then if you can do that at the end of the sabbatical you say thank you very much or here i am again please may i have my job back that's number one number two the second s savings. A lot of people have put money to the side, they, you know, for a rainy day. What if this, this is your rainy day and you want to bring you some sunshine into your life? How much could you afford practically? I'm not asking you to go over the top. How much could you afford to use from your savings? How long could you actually pay the bills, put food on the table, whilst you are building your business. Now, when I work with my clients, I tell them, 
after six months of working with me in my Radiate coaching program, I want them to be making money. Okay, the, the co coaching, the work that I do, it's not just about feeling better. It's also very tangible. After six months, I want to see money in your account from what you have been doing. So how, if you have savings, how long could you afford to keep yourself going with those savings? And number three, the third S, sell something. What do I mean by that? Well, so many people I've been speaking to now have, for example, sold their cars, which means that they are saving on fuel. They are saving on insurance and all sorts of other things. And whilst, yes, the, the cost of living is increasing, is there something in your environment that you don't need anymore because you are working from home more often than not? So those are the three practical questions, topics I want you to, to think about. A, could you take a sabbatical? B, do you have savings? And three, C, could you actually sell something? Go and look in the garage. Maybe there's an old chair or something. Do those things. Now, on a personal level, clearly this is a lot more complicated. Because if you have been an employee for a certain number of years, you'll be in a routine, you will be used to somebody else having the responsibility to pay for you. And this is a great, I'm not going to pretend it's it's not a struggle for people, but it is doable. Basically, if I can do it, um, then you can too. Even now, I still spend at least 60 minutes every day on me, on my mindset, through meditation, on quietening myself, on visualizing, on emotionalizing what it's going to feel like based on all this new research, raising how I feel about myself and my business so that I'm in a better place to be able to do my work. Now, I've just mentioned that can take the form of meditation, that can take the um, form of brain training in some shape or form. Um, you know, listening on, on your headphones. That can take the uh, shape or form of actually doing exercise. Anything that gets breath into your body and slows down your brain waves is going to be of huge advantage to how you manage your mindset in this um, transitory process. So what else have I got here? Just checking that I have um, told you everything. Of course, you have to be passionate. <laughs> of course, you have to be passionate. It can't just be, oh, well, I, you know, let's give it a go. You have to be passionate. And this is why I love working particularly with female leaders in the not-for-profit sector, because I know that there is a real passion to want to help others, to make a difference in the lives of others. So if you are that person thinking about jumping from one hamster wheel and you're worried that you're going to be jumping onto another hamster wheel, please do get in touch. I've put a link with this video to get on a call with me. Let's find out what you could actually do. From my perspective, I now only work three days a week with clients, unless I'm doing workshops. The rest of the time is my time. I'm doing my things. So as I said, if you'd like to get in touch, if you'd like to investigate what could potentially be possible for you within six months of working with me, I'd love to have a conversation. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay healthy, stay fabulous. Loads of love and bye.